There he goes, Tennessee. Get him. Got him. Dead center. That's Jed's song, Tennessee Jed. Deadliest man with a rifle ever to ride the Western Plains. Brought to you every day, Monday through Friday, by the bakers of Enriched Tip Top Bread. All trouble with Gideon Gordon is over, and Tennessee has recovered both the Circle S Ranch and Gold Mine for his friends. But half the mine's wealth belongs to Chief Gray Eagle and the Comanche Indians for their help in locating the mine originally. So Tennessee is bringing the good news to the friendly chief. Astride the great horse, Smokey, he is in high spirits. Good old Smokey boy. It's a great day to be alive, ain't it, feller? Yes, sir, a great day to be alive. Oh, today, oh, today, today, oh, oh, today. Oh, oh. oh Smokey. What no good rope me up in my horse? Hey, what's the idea of yanking a fellow off a loping horse? Who done it? Engines in full warping. Just what's the idea, engines? <laughs> Takes a heap of nerve to kick a fellow what's down, don't it, Redskin? <clears throat> Be better if you talk, Redskin. But with that rifle sticking in my back, I figure you mean I should get in my horse. <clears throat> All right. As long as you engines don't get no ideas, I'll go peaceable. But if in any one of you gets ideas of back shooting, there'll be lots of dead engines for you kills me off. Oh, easy, Smokey boy, now. Easy, boy. I knows no more about this than you do, Smokey feller, but right now he's got no choice but to obey. Now what, Redskins? <clears throat> get up, Smokey boy. Get up, boy. Surrounded by silent, stalwart Indian braves, their faces hideous beneath war paint, Tennessee is forced to ride toward an unknown destination. We'll learn the reason for his capture by the warring Redskins in just one minute. You're wanted, neighbor, as a judge of better bread. And here's all you have to do. Simply try a loaf of the bread with the stars on the wrapper and personally put it through its paces. First, Tilt your nose to a slice of tip-top and see how good it smells. Man, then peel tip-top bread. You see in a flash, each slice is smooth as a dumpling. Finally, taste a bite of creamy, tender tip-top bread. Well, I'm betting you label it the most delicious bread you ever ate on every count. Yes, sir, and it's tip-top is the bread baked in a special way that's like our grandmother's made bread, so it's just naturally more fun to eat. And it's tip-top for you, too, remember. Brings you an enriched supply of precious vitamins and food iron. Tell your food dealer tonight you'd like the bread you heard about on Tennessee Jed and rich Tip Top Bread. A short ride brings Tennessee and his Indian captors to a redskin encampment the sight of which is unfamiliar to the prisoner. There, all dismount, and surrounded by fierce-looking braves, Tennessee is led to what seems to be the titi of the chief. <clears throat> Dead blasted red skin. I wish you'd talk up in English, did a grunting and poking my ribs with a rifle when you want I should walk or stop. <clears throat> oh, so we seize the chief alone, huh? Christy, your boys waits outside. <clears throat> All right, I'm going. Hey, what's the idea, Chief? You're brave yanking me from the saddle with a rope and then... 
Gray Eagle. Tennessee, good friend. Gray Eagle, heap glad see him. Likewise, Gray Eagle. Though your braves don't seem to set much store by me for some reason. A condo a toy in part on Tennessee. Fonsipe, Comanche. Him, silent fox. Him, sorry, make mistakes. Bring in all white men. Does he now? Well, you'd never know it to hear him tell it. Him, silent fox. Him, no talk. Him, like, shake hands. Why, sure, silent fox. Uh, reckon these no harm done after all. Taylor can make a mistake mighty easy. Sheik. Silent Fox go on warpath. Many warriors die guarding gold mine. I know, Gray Eagle, and that's how come me here. The no good sponsible for killing your braves and stealing the miners done been caught up with. Comanche dead have been remembered. Remembered? And avenge, Gray Eagle. Their killers is paying for their crimes. Mmm, heap good. Now, Comanche, wash them off war paint. Yeah, Chief. Whole business was planned by a gent named Gideon Gordon. He wound up caught in his own loop, in jail awaiting hanging. Heap good, Tennessee. Oh, ho. Come, you tell him, Comanche. Andwaho, Yatohe, Imiwa Peo, Pushmata. Tennessee, now tell him, Comanche, full story. Sure, Gray Eagle. Here it is. There came to Sonora a plum, no good man who wasn't but stealing or killing and to murder Comanches a garden of mine his cutthroat was ready and willing they murdered your brave they Took the mine by force and filed claiming old San Antonio. We squawked and we squawked until we were hoarse, but Gordon just laughed at our moan. But the best of the plans of both my and men don't always work out like they should. And when the tide turns in our favor again, I tell you we got Gordon good. So we got back our range and recovered the mine. You might say we finished our chores. Now you know Half of the mind gold is yours. Him power, Tom. Him yo apeo. He o yakawe. Yakane hoge. We will honor dead with feast and dance. Now let dance begin. Graves is mighty happy now, seems as though Gray Eagle. Comanche, heap happy. Tennessee, join a warrior in peace. I'd like nothing better, Chief, but I got a circle around by the gold mine. 
pick up enough ore for paying off $2,000 we owe the Sonora Bank. Hmm. Goodbye, then. Goodbye, brother. All right, Smokey. To the gold mine first. Then he's heading for Sonora to pay off $2,000. Circle S.O.'s Gideon Gordon's Bank. Giddy up, feller. Bye, Gray Eagle. So long. Well, Smokey, feller, that turned out all right, didn't it? Yes, sir, Smokey. We picks up the gold, pays off the bank, and starts putting Circle S back in operation. One more chore and our friends will be ready to return to Circle S. Pay off the $2,000 owed Gideon Gardens Bank. We'll join Tennessee and Sonora in just 60 seconds. Gang, Uncle Sam knows how much you've done to win the war. You've buckled down with fellas and girls all over the country to put every war loan over the top. And, partner, that's why your Uncle Sam is counting so much on you to put over his great victory loan with a bang. Remember, we are asked not to give, just to lend our money to our country. But we are asked to lend every cent we possibly can, for we still have a lot to do. We still have men to bring home from overseas and millions of veterans to care for. And this is the last of the war loans. So pitch in, won't you, gang? Before the big victory loan comes to its wind-up this week, fill up another stamp book and get the family to take another victory bond. This has been a special appeal from the bakers of Enriched Tip-Top Bread. Having collected sufficient gold ore from the Circle S mine, Tennessee has stopped off in Sonora, paid the money to Gideon Gordon's bank on the ranch, and is now ready to rejoin his friends at Joshua Masters slash Bar M. Well, that's it, Smokey. Circle S ranch and mine is back in hands of the rightful owners, and bank is paid off in full. So all it's left to do, I reckon, is pick up our folks at Joshua Master Slash Bar and move back to our own Circle S Ranch home. <laughs> this is good to you, does it, Smokey Feller? But they s- still matter restock and Circle S. I feel a heap better when the beef is on the range. Get you, Feller! Yes, trouble does have a way of winding up at Circle S, as we know all too well from our friends' latest experiences. But for the moment, it looks like a short trail and an easy one, as plans are made for a return to the Circle S. This is Layman Cameron Gang asking you to be sure to listen tomorrow at the same time to the next exciting chapter in the thrilling adventures of Tennessee Jed. Look for the stars on the wrapper for tip-top bread. You get delicious, better bread, vitamin-enriched, baked like grandma's homemade for greater smoothness. This is the American Broadcasting Company.